Okay, here's a problem. This is uh, problem 47 from the book uh, about changing the order of integration. Um, it's a little different from the one, the first one I'm going to ask you, where all you're asked to do is change the order of integration, change the setup, and then not actually evaluate. And they actually just give you a gen generic function. You can't actually go do the integral. But I'm going to do one where you can actually do the integral as well, because it gives you a better idea of why you would do this. So here's the integral. Oops, 0 to 4, and then 0 to, oh, sorry, not 0, uh, root x to 2 of 1 over y cubed plus 1 dy dx. OK, why would we want to change the order? Well, the integral of 1 over y cubed plus 1 dy, that's a pretty tricky integral. It's um, You'd have to do it by partial fractions. It'd be really a, a huge mess. And we're going to discover that by changing the order, it's going to be much, much easier. So we'd like to turn it into something, some double integral, the same integrand dx dy. But setting up the limits is the tricky part. Um, now, there's something that's a little, there's one contextual thing I want to say. One reason you might actually be doing this integral is that you might have actually been given a geometric region and you might have already drawn a picture and set up these limits for that picture. In which case, um, part of what I'm going to have to have to do in a minute is would already be done. But there's lots of situations actually in mathematics where you actually end up with really just an iterated integral. It's not actually coming to you as a geometric double integral. And one of the powerful things we have is to take this thing that was just one one-dimensional integral fed into another, an iterated integral, and think of it as a double integral over a region. And therefore, since it's a double integral, since it's calculating like a volume, then you can switch the order. The thing is, though, you're going to actually have to figure out what region it's we're talking about. And so that's the, the procedure here. If you're given a region described in this kind of a weird way as limits of integration, you're going to need to draw the picture to do this. There's just no good way to do it without that. So um, we're going to draw some axes. Oh, we're going to select the pen tool. We're going to draw some axes. And so this is a region that goes off to 4 in x. Pardon the sloppy writing, but I haven't really tried writing with a mouse, drawing with a mouse uh, for these things before. Um, and let's see what, what this is. x goes from 0 to 4, period. Never, ever, ever anything else. So it's in this strip between 0, x equals 0, and let's put in a dotted line for x equals 4. We know it's in there. And then for a given x, y goes between root x and 2. So let's draw y equals root x. That's certainly one of the curves that's important here. Woo, that's a terrible y x root x. It really doesn't have all those uh, inflection points, sorry. Um, and that goes up, as it happens, exactly to 2 when x equals 4. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then the top is exactly x equals, y equals 2. Now, uh, they, just, they really should meet there. Uh, let's try. Uh, maybe if I do this technique for videos a lot, I'm going to practice with the mouse. I do have a tablet pen. Let me try the tablet pen. I doubt that's going to be any better. Nah, I'll just use the mouse. Um, OK. A little more of a bold stroke there. OK, good enough. So one thing to be aware of is when you draw y equals root x, and then you think the word integral, you are going to sort of subconsciously assume it's this region. It's not. It's everything up here. And what does this mean? When, when we do it a dy dx integral, it means that's what would happen if you took this floor plan and you sectioned it up, sliced it up into strips like this. Well, we want to slice it up into other strips where y is held fixed and x runs along the strip. So let's erase that thing and draw in a horizontal strip. Really, really good idea to draw these sort of strips. It takes a quarter of a second, and it, it um, is really helpful. So now the outer limit is y. y goes from 0 to 2. And then x. Well, the smallest x can ever be a 0. Remember, when it's x on the inner limit, this is left, and the upper limit is the right. So this is going to be, hmm, well, let's see. That is, let me put it in up here. If y was equal to root x, then x was equal to y squared. Aha, so that's going to be y squared. And one thing I noticed in class, I mentioned in class, is 
that this root x has been, not only have you changed it to its inverse function, it actually ends up in the top instead of the bottom. That's because while this curve described the geometric bottom of this region, so that was the minimum y for a given x, it's the maximum x for a given y. And that's very common. It's not always true, but it's very common that that happens. Um, and so if I just give you the, this quantity, 0, 4, root x, 2, and then I say the output is 0, 2, 0, y squared, it's not easy to do that without going through the geometry. Now, what does this buy us? Okay. Um, it's, it might seem like it doesn't buy you anything because it's still the same integrand. But the first integral is a dx integral, and this is a constant as far as x is concerned. So the outer integral is still sitting there. The inner thing is now going to be just x over y cubed plus 1 from x equals 0 to x equals y squared. Then eventually we're going to integrate in dy. And then, so that's going to be, well, the 0 isn't going to contribute, and we're going to get y squared over y cubed plus 1 dy. OK, so why is that better than the original integrand? It's because if u equals u, y cubed plus 1, we use u sub, our main tool, then this is going to be basically the du. So let me set that up in a different little window. If u equals y cubed plus 1, du is going to be 3y squared dy. And so 1 third du is exactly what we're seeing in the integral. D1, y squared dy. We also got to figure out the limits. Don't forget to change your limits of integration, please. Y equals 0 leads to u equals 1 and y equals 2 leads to u equals 9, 8 plus 1. OK, we're ready to go. Um, so I can just continue with this. This is going to be integral 1 to 9 of 1 over u times 1 third du. Put a little space in there. And so that's going to be 1 third ln u from 1 to 9. And ln of 1 is 0, and so we get 1 third ln 9. And that's a heck of a lot easier than trying to attack it directly. So that's um, the last part. It was not the thing I wanted to focus on. The, the main thing I want to focus is you're given this very algebraic presentation. You need to transfer it to the geometry. And then you go back and redo the algebra in a different way from the geometry. And then you see. Um, what that buys you in terms of integrating the thing. Okay, good place to stop.